Hi guys. So today's video is going to be some under hyped book recommendations. These are all books that for whatever reason just don't get talked about very much but I think are really good and for those of you that are avid readers and feel like you've read everything out there hopefully there will be some books I mentioned that you've never heard of. You guys know I love fantasy but I'm actually going to start with one that's not fantasy and that would be Tuesdays with Maury by Mitch Albom. This is such a good book and it's a book I think that people can enjoy at different times in their lives that you can reread it and get different things from it. It follows the story of this guy who goes to visit this old professor that he used to have who is dying from an illness so he's dying slowly. Every week the guy goes to visit him on Tuesdays which is why it's called Tuesdays with Maury and each Tuesday they talk about something just life related like love and relationships and jobs and wealth and things like that so I think if you have different experiences at different ages that's why you can enjoy it at different points in your life. Going again to a book that is not fantasy but it's actually historical fiction and it's one that I've mentioned multiple times on my channel. It's one of my favorite series of all time and that would be the Strongo Saga. The first book is Viking Warrior by Judson Roberts. This story follows a boy named Hafton who is like 14 at the beginning of the book and he is the son of an Irish princess and a Viking chieftain but he is born a slave. It is a series and the first one is the most introductory but it's so good. I think something that I loved about it is right from the start there's a lot of emotional pull and I love when books just really get my heart going and it does at the beginning it's very tragic and then from then on there's more action but because it's historical fiction there's actually like battles in the series that took place in actual history there are real viking characters that existed in history it's just told from the point of view of a fictional character my next underhyped book recommendation is actually a book that is relatively new. I don't know why I don't see more people talking about it because I really liked it and it's a fantasy standalone and it's called Long May She Reign by Rhiannon Thomas. This book follows a girl who is 23rd in line for the throne so she at no point thinks that she's going to have to rule but then something happens and all of a sudden she is ruler of the land. I wasn't sure I was gonna like the book that much when it very first started but after the beginning when stuff starts to go down it's awesome and there is such a huge element of who done it? It's kind of like a mystery book set in a fantastical kingdom. Another thing I loved about this book is that the main character is very much inclined to act based off of her personality. I feel like sometimes in books the main characters just do whatever works for the plot and this character doesn't. She does what she would actually do based off of her character which really makes her feel like a real person. Next up is a series that I've mentioned quite a few times on my channel. I really love it but it is a little bit of an older series so the writing style is kind of different um, and that would be the Stravaganza series by Mary Hoffman. These books are portal fantasies which means that the characters start off in our world and then go into this other world that is not ours and the world that they go to is like a 16th century version of Italy. There is a ton of intrigue in these books and I personally love intrigue. It's one of my favorite things. You guys liked European history and specifically anything to do with the Renaissance and the de Medici family. That's a lot of what this book's inspiration is from and it's so cool. The last underhyped book recommendation I have, I can only recommend the first book in this series because I've not actually read the rest of them but I really enjoyed the first book and that would be the Temeraire series by Naomi Novik. I know for a while everybody was losing it over the book Uprooted which I haven't read yet but it's by the same author and I just don't hear anybody talking about this series but it's an alternate history so it takes place during the Napoleonic era except for there's dragons. Temeraire is the name of the dragon in this book and he kind of gets bonded to this soldier and their relationship is the best because the soldier is very much a soldier he does everything based off of logic and Temeraire is kind of like kind of like a little kid combined with like a puppy so he's just the cutest thing ever and their relationship is fantastic anyway that's it for my underhyped book recommendations let me know if you guys have read any of these or even heard of any of these or if you plan on picking any of them up because I like all of them. Also let me know what your guys' underhyped book recommendations are, but anyway if you liked the video don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon to get notified when I post new videos and check out some more of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys later. Bye!